Diving is an exciting part of the game that has entertained crowds all around the world on the PSA World Tour. However, when a player dives, it can cause a little bit of confusion. So let's sort out exactly what should happen when a dive takes place. Miguel Rodriguez dives and therefore loses the right to stop the rally because he's the one that's altered the conditions of the court and therefore has to accept the playing surface. Now Ali Farag as the non-diving player has the option to stop for safety but has to do so before the opponent's next shot. At this point it comes down to the referee to decide whether they want to stop the rally or not for safety. And here the ball doesn't actually go close enough to the affected area to be considered as dangerous and therefore the rally is played out until its conclusion. Gregoire Marsh dives while retrieving the ball and James Wilstrop opts to carry on. From Marsh's next shot, the ball lands directly in the affected area and the referee chooses to stop play immediately. I'm stopping it because of, I'm concerned of the safety. I can stop it any time. It's important to remember that the referee has the right to intervene and stop play at any time should the conditions be deemed unsafe. Miguel Rodriguez dives and Declan James chooses to play the next shot. As a non-diving player, James did have the option to stop for safety, but he had to do so before Rodriguez played his next shot after the dive. In other words, if James as the non-diver played on and allowed Rodriguez as the diver to play his following shot after the dive, at that point the rally must continue because the court conditions have been deemed to be accepted by both players. The rally now finishes with its natural conclusion, or the referee can stop the play at any point if they feel that the conditions are deemed unsafe. Paul Cole dives, but is also questioning an earlier pickup by his opponent. Diego Elias is looking to take advantage of Paul Cole's position after the dive. Once Elias hits the shot, it's actually deemed a winning shot that Paul Cole wouldn't be able to retrieve, so the rally ends there. Paul Cole dives and Diego Elias chooses to carry on. Once Cole hits the next shot, both players have to continue until the end of the rally because they've been deemed to accept the court conditions. Remember though that the referee has the right to intervene and stop play at any time should the conditions be considered unsafe. In this situation, the ball travels back to the left-hand side of the court, which is the affected area, and as soon as it does, the referee stops play because of safety. In this situation, the court will be cleaned and then the players will have to replay the rally. Please note that the rules described in this video are for PSA events only. It is always important to check with the appropriate persons how the rule will be interpreted at any event you partake in. Get all the latest up-to-date information by visiting worldsquashofficiating.com.